to really connect with the Prophet wasallam, seerah and his sunnah, you really need to know his shama'il. You need to know his smile sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You need to know the way that he looked, the way that he spoke, the way that he carried himself, how he was in his home, how he was in the masjid. Once you do that, then connecting to the seerah, connecting to the sunnah becomes so natural to you. Now with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to know his names and attributes is to keep on falling in love with him over and over and over again. And that makes it so much easier to abide by his commands and even want to do more of the voluntary deeds that not only increase you in paradise, but bring you closer to him, which is greater than anything else Jannah can give you. The scholars agree that seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the ultimate joy of the Akhirah. It is the most precious gift that He can give to you because you will not look at anything more beautiful than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will not experience anyone more beautiful than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will not hear anything more beautiful than when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses you in Jannah. And in Jannah, there is no fear anymore of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the sense that you're not scared of Him. You're just in awe of Him and excited to hear Him and meet Him every single time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you that gift. Some faces on that day shall be so radiant because they will be staring at their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I want you to think about this when Allah says, Ta'rifu fi wujuhihim na'im, that you would know how happy they are when you just look at their faces. Like if you don't see anything else in Jannah, and you're just looking at the other people in Jannah and the smiles on their faces, you would be able to tell that they must be looking at something so amazing. And that's if they're looking at the food of Jannah and they're looking at the people of Jannah and they're looking at the rivers of Jannah or whatever it may be. Imagine how much na'im, how much joy there is on the face of a person who gets to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. People that get to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala day and night are people that used to respond to the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala day and night in this dunya. They used to be in seclusion and conversation in qiyam with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They used to worship Him as if they could see Him. And now they can see Him just as much. And this is ihsan, excellence. And the companion said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah, but does everybody get to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Jannah? Like, is it really Jannah if you can't see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Verily, you shall see your Lord just as you see the moon when it's most full in the darkest of the night. And you don't have to crowd one another in order to see him. Meaning, everyone will be able to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at some point in Jannah. And that is on the day of Jum'ah, the day of Friday. And the Prophet ﷺ said that your Lord has singled out a valley in paradise which has hills of white musk. And on Friday, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all of His majesty will address the people of Jannah from His throne. And the prophets are sitting on chairs of light. And then there are pulpits of light and gold studded with gems. And that is for the Siddiqun and the Shuhada, for the people who are most truthful with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for the martyrs. And then the people of Al-Ghuraf, the people of the highest rooms, will come out of their rooms and they will sit on the hills. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts to address us. Hada yawmul mazid. This is the day of increase. And seeing the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is exactly what the increase is. And that's why when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَهُمْ مَا يَشَاءُونَ فِيهَا وَلَدَيْنَا mazid. They will have in Jannah all that they desire and we have more for them. And many of the scholars said this more for them is the ability to look at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you will not be given anything more beloved to you in Jannah than the ability to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once recited the ayah, لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُ الْحُسْنَ وَزِيَادَةً that for those who put forth excellence there is an excellent reward and more. And the Sahaba asked the Prophet ﷺ, Ya Rasulullah, what's more? Hal jaza'ul ihsan illa al ihsan, right? Isn't the reward for excellence excellence? Isn't Jannah all ihsan? What is the more? And the Prophet ﷺ said, An nadaru ila wajhihi al kareem, to gaze at the noble face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, how does this all play out in Jannah? A voice is going to call out, Ya Ahl al-Jannah, O people of paradise, 
Allah will be accepting visits from the people of paradise. So hurry to visit the most merciful. And the people of paradise will say, Sam'an wa ta'an. We hear and we obey, just as they used to in this life. And then they gather there and nobody is left out. And by that time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have ordered his throne to be set in the valley. And then platforms made of gold and pearl and silver and all types of jewels are set for every inhabitant of paradise. And the least of them, the Prophet ﷺ said, would sit on a sheet made of pearls. And everyone will think that they have the best seat in the house. Everyone will think that they have the best platform in the gathering. So once everyone is seated in the comfort of his chair, a voice will call out to the crowd and it will say, Ya Ahl al Jannah, O people of paradise, you now have an appointment with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and His Majesty wants to fulfill your reward. And the people of Jannah reply back to the caller, Didn't He already brighten our faces with light? Didn't He already make our good deeds heavy on the scale? Didn't He already enter us into paradise and save us from the fire of hell? And while the people of Jannah are having this conversation, suddenly a light radiates upon them, a light that brightens the entire Jannah. And the people of paradise raise their heads to see what it is. And there is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all of His magnificence. And Allah will say to them, Ya Ahl al Jannati, Salamun Alaikum. O people of paradise, peace be on to you. And all of the people of paradise will reply with the best greeting they know. Allahumma anta salam wa minka salam tabarakta ya dal jalali wal ikram. O Allah, you are peace and peace comes from you. Blessed are you, your majesty, who possesses all glory and honor. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would reveal himself to the people of paradise and say, Ayna ibadi alladhina ata'uni bil ghaybi wa lam yarawni. Where are my servants who used to worship me even though they couldn't see me? This is the day of increase. Ask me anything you want. And then the people of paradise will reply to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all at once. We are pleased, O Allah, so be pleased with us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would say, Ya Ahl al Jannah, O people of paradise, if I wasn't pleased with you, I wouldn't have allowed you to dwell in my paradise. This is the day of increase. So ask me anything you want. And then the people of paradise will speak amongst each other and they reply all at once. Oh Allah, show us your face. So we can stare at you. Oh Allah, show us your face so we can stare at you. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals his face to them and his light would cover them in such a way that they would forget every pain, every sadness that they ever encountered. And every person would be called forth to have a private conversation with Allah and no one is going to be left out. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Oh my servant, do you remember that day that you did such and such a sin in this dunya? And the servant will say, Ya Allah, didn't you forgive me for that? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, of course I have. And it was with my forgiveness that you reached this level that you are in. And the Prophet Sallallahu taught us to say, Allahumma inni as'aluka ladhata nadari ila wajhika al-kareem wa shawqa ila liqaik. O oh Allah, I ask you for the pleasure of staring at your beautiful face and the joy of meeting you.